Hi and welcome back to another another episode of our trip around the world from our own kitchen. Today we are starting with the letter B and we're going to the Bahamas. We're going to enjoy some crack conch, I hope I pronounced it correctly, with some peas and rice. First up, I talked to my local fisherman and he said that conch is not cannot be found outside of the Caribbean, especially in Europe, or as far as he knows, because as far as he knows, it's illegal to export it. So you can use as an alternative crayfish instead, and that's what we're trying to use. For the rest, let's get started. So today we're going to have basically two different types of dishes. You can prepare them separately or you can combine them. That's up to you. So first we'll have our conch, which needs 300 grams of conch or crayfish, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of fresh thyme, this one is from my garden, one egg, 300 grams of flour, and enough water to create a batter. Then we pass to the second part, which is the rice, two cups of rice, one cup of peas, I'm using frozen peas as you can see, half a cup of tomato paste, one chopped tomato, one sliced onion, two tablespoons of fresh thyme, salt and pepper, two slices of bacon diced, and enough oil to fry your conch. So we start with the rice because I want the, the conch or crayfish to be crunchy and crispy. So we heat up a skillet and fry our bacon. The bacon is optional, if you don't want it, you can skip it. Now we add the onion, the tomato and a good deal of pepper. Now we add the peas. and the tomato paste. We also season with salt and the two tablespoons of thyme. Now we add approximately three, three cups of water now we give it a good stir and we bring it to a boil. Now that it's boiling, we, are, we add the rice. We bring it to a simmer, cover it with a lid and leave it for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. While the rice is simmering, we prepare the batter. We take our flour, add the garlic powder, the thyme, the egg, salt and pepper. We mix it. And then we add enough water to get a nice batter. It shouldn't be too liquid and it shouldn't be too thick. So the consistency we're aiming for should be more or less like this. And now we coat our conch or our crayfish and we deep fry it. And here we have our finished rice with peas and cracked conch, nice and crispy, steaming hot. I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. Thank you for joining me today once again for another trip to another country. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you would like to make the recipe, the link to my blog is in the description. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more recipes, why not follow me or subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week with another country and another trip to another world 
to another cuisine and that's it bye